the southeast, in the south south, in the north central, and all across Nigeria, you have leaders who are chicken at it. I read a region of Nigeria over the weekend that they formed a security committee. And what is the agenda of the security committee? I thought they would say, oh, we are going to go after bandits, we are going to go after terrorists, we are going to go after invaders, we are going to go after... Do you understand? No, but it's obvious that they are forming their security probably to fight some people who are agitating for freedom within their zone. It doesn't make sense to me. You understand? You are not facing your oppressors. You are facing your own local people, your own citizens, who are demanding as a matter of legitimate right to say, look, we want freedom of association. We want to determine who we want to associate with. That is what I'm seeing. A governor came out and said he ordered the army to go and crush some of his own people. So how come the people of Sanfara, the people of Niger, where people are being kidnapped daily, they are not responding in that manner? What's, what is wrong with us in the South? I'm not saying fight government. I am saying fight whosoever makes life difficult for you. I'm not saying go and fight government. But where you now have people who are now saying eh, we have formed our security team and we are very loyal to the federal government of Nigeria. If the federal government of Nigeria provided security, will you be forming your own security in the first instance? So, <laughs> so for me, let me tell you, <laughs> it, it, it has become a big joke. But what I know is that a day will be a day when the monkey will go to the market and it will be a different story. That is, I have no doubt. History has taught me. Let me tell you, what shall it profit a leader if under his watch everything falls apart? I don't know what any leader will so that in the future they will say, yes, you champion the cause of your people. Is that all there is to life? 